the arrows, no? Oh, a hundred. To be honest, I'll never be able to sell those things. Do I have my ingredients satchel? You've never played the DLC? You, yeah, you definitely should. Um, I mean, currently I'm level 25. It is true that my character is, um, is definitely not carefully leveled up. I don't pay attention to any of it. I improve the attributes that make sense not in terms of maximizing, you know, I'm not looking for uh, the best damage and the best attributes, just something I want my character to have lots of personality because she's a bot, she doesn't need more personality, so I think I'm a level 25 character, probably as good as a level 20 character, and this is tough, without companions I just wouldn't be able to do it. Then again, not having any weapons or not knowing how to use any weapons certainly makes things a little more difficult. I thought I had the ingredient satchel. Clearly not. I have lots of ingredients. Mmm, bread. And cheese. So good. And muffins. A and onion soup. And grilled meat. How did suddenly things become heavier? Did I just imagine that? There, keep the stuff. <sighs> Back to Amalexia. <laughs> you always roleplay your characters as well. It's just I find it so tedious. I mean, oh, obviously now you can mod how you level up and that's what I have with this one. Uh, I have Linora's leveling up mod, so I don't I don't micromanage at all. Right, let's go back to Amalexia. Tell her we have successfully murdered someone who's just realized she's crazy. Honestly, she's just crazy. A hundred and three. Oh, darn. I crashed. Did I quick save after my victory? I did. I must have. I wouldn't be foolish enough to not quick save after that fight. Mm. I do have a mod that doubles the carrying capacity already. I, I've, I've made it a little more comfortable for myself. I... I think the running speed is faster as well. Because I want to play. I don't want to I don't want to punish myself. No, I'm not saying it's the better way to play it. It's just well the the game is set to be difficult enough without having to Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You you're not chat zone again, sir. I did see the one hundred and strength one hundred and C and three strength that you mentioned. That's one swall bard. I'm not sure what you mean by swall bard. It's not a word I know. Okay, yes. I've killed a guy. I'm not gonna waste time dropping things one at a time. I'm just going to summon Jasmine. 
Hey, Jasmine. I think, Jasmine, you would look just amazing in this lovely suit of armor. If you want to have an amazing... Oh crap, I hope Alvalexa is not going to ask me for these. And look at those really cool items, she can't carry any of it. Thanks. Thanks, Jasmine. We'll see you. And somehow the spell is not working. Fine, I can recall. There we are. Oh no, why would you crash again? That's it, I've been saying so hor so many horrible things about Almalexia that she's not even letting me in her temple anymore. Let me see if I can do better. Hey, DJ Mafo, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I want to do Jenga. Mm. Five septims, just like that, because I'm that good. I think it's the um, Sleevey spell that's somehow bugging, which is odd. At least we don't have to do the fight again. Mm hmm. I'll use the recall straight away. I think the um, sleevey was a uh, hello, Ina. Welcome back. <laughs> those uh, those little ears, very cute. Hey, Jasmine. I'm still going to dump everything on you. Woo! Thank you so much for the bits. I was <laughs> did not remember the alert. Nice. Thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Oh, and I'm so glad that one of my custom alerts was uh, was triggered. I actually spent quite a bit of time. She already has that. Uh, quite a bit of time. Um, thinking of things to use. Thank you very much. That was very, very cool of you. We're going to recall. And not crash. You hear me, Morrowind? And we want to go straight to the temple courtyard. Thank you for that. We still want to avoid our little friend. I forgot his name. G -g Gaynor? can't quite remember oh. okay now we do have a problem guys because getting in the temple crashes the game and that's just not good why would you not let me go in the temple when I was there quite a few times. So I know for a fact that, um, you know, all the meshes, all the textures are there. What could it be? Am I supposed to get a pop-up message when I go in there? Could it be a script that's trying to run and it's not running properly? Currently, you're playing a crazy old man. I mean, uh, you're playing a crazy old man who spent too many years in jail and lives in a hollowed out kiting shell you made in a construction kit. Zero personality. Nice. Yeah, I'll try to see or see to the temple so I can skip the the reception area. Can someone look up the, the exact name of the cell? I mean, I, I'm thinking Moonhold, comma, temple, colon... 
High Chapel. Yeah, I mean, I can look it up as well, actually. Does everything else work? Yes. So let me find out the exact name of the cell. Bothorn Temple, I believe it is called High Chapel. Google is not liking my search. Any chance for a sooner Ariel stream before the one hour game jam? Uh, Zerv, uh, yes, but there's Friday morning and I know. Thank you, Skink. Morning on Terrible High Chapel. Uh, I, I am streaming Skyrim on Friday on the, the girl streamer channel, but I know that's early in the morning. It's just not a good time for anyone. It's middle of the night for you know anyone in the states early in the morning for anyone in Europe <sighs> no Colin hi I'm Alexia I decided to go the other way around let's quick save Friday yes Friday for Skyrim Honestly, this week, because uh, the kids still have a holiday, I have a lot less work because I don't teach the kids. I want to, honestly, I want to start playing my other Morrowind game as soon as possible. Uh, that's the truth. But nothing scheduled for sure. All right. Salas Valor is dead. The pain is almost more than I can bear. But you have served me faithfully and it, it is in my mind to grant you a divine blessing Oh, would you like to to would you like skin as tough as iron? Would you like my protection against paralyzing terror? Would you wish to always bask in warm comfort of my reflected glory? Quick now, choose. You must not keep your deity waiting. I don't want protection against paralysis. That's quite rare. Reflect just because it's so annoying when I'm fighting against someone with reflect. Maybe I should go for that, though skin like iron. And I'm gonna go for the skin like iron. How are you going to stay healthy without fresh young vitality? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll do my best. I bless you with my gift and mark you as my own. Be ever faithful in your service and you may expect more generous rewards. Okay. Thank you, Almalexia. I'll make a hard save there. So blessed. Welcome Aureliana. It is time we talked of greater things. I have watched you since your arrival in Vardenfell and you have been a strong and faithful servant to me. Clearly she didn't see the times where I was dissing her, but that's good. None but the Nerevarine could have succeeded as you have. I'm not the Nerevarine yet. I mean, I, I haven't done, you know, I'm not the Hortator and all that boring things. How long I have waited for this. My Nerevar returned to me at last. I have watched for my temple as others have made the claim. I have seen them all. I believe now that you are the one who was prophesied. I am indeed. I believe you now to be the Nerevarin. Though I have watched others come and go, my belief is that you are the child of prophecy. The time has come for you to reclaim your station. Together, we can unite Morrowin once again, free from the Imperial Yoke. Yeah, that's why we became... Uh, I mean, if she's serious about that, then I'm guessing my Ashlander, Ashlander character might maybe agree to a truth. I want to reclaim my station. For years, the Chimer and the Dwemer had been at war. The Dwemer spurned the Daedra that the Chimer worshipped, instead placing their faith in their metal creations. 
It was only when the Nord invaded Res 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 that the two nations were able to join as one under the leadership of our Nerevar and the dwarf king Dumak. In time, the two generals became blood friends, and on the, on the day that Nerevar and I were wed, Dumak presented us with twin blades, Hope's, Hope's Fire and True Flame. Each was a magnificent blade, the pinnacle of Dwemer craftsmanship. Their blades burned with an unearthly fire, and the sight of them struck fear into our enemies. My blade has been kept safe, but not true flame, the blade of Nerevar. It was lost in the Battle of Red Mountain. Okay. The blade of Nerevar in the battle beneath Red Mountain, true flame, was shattered. The flame extinguished, and in the confusion, the piece is lost. It is time for you, Nerevarin, to remake the blade and take your place by my side once again. I have only one, which I now give to you. Through my magic, I have been able to determine that the other pieces of the blade are nearby. Lucky for me. Find the other two pieces of the blade and forge the blade anew. Only you may accomplish this, Nerevarin. As I said, they are nearby. Thank you. Directions, the way we're used to having them. The best weaponsmith in all of Tamriel resides in my city. When you have recovered the pieces of the blade, seek out the finest among the craftsmen and press him into our service. Okay. We're just going to have to... Uh, up just gonna have to find the blades yonder what is yonder alert skink i am not sure what that is please enlighten me prof you're saying nerevar return to me at last sorry i cheated on you with vivek no hard feelings nah you know sorry i murdered you betrayed my vow my vows it's it's all water under the bridge now that you've uh, killed for me recovered items for me we can be friends again all right i let's see let's see if i can't yeah clearly the reception is now forbidden to me let's just hope i don't need it for any quest i have no idea why i can't go in there dead Deadbeat artist, my character is just going to love this. Love. Sweet on the outside and acts crazy on the inside. All right, there you go. You learn every day, especially as a teacher. I'll have to try and remember that. Use it again, you know, sometimes next week or whenever you're, you're with us during the stream. See if I remember what it means. And if I don't, you're allowed to make fun of me and... Um, and even use the shame command. Phew, how are we doing? Oh, almost nine. That's why I'm hungry. As long as raccoons. <laughs> Onion, I like how you're using raccoons almost like a, a mantra for protection. Raccoons, raccoons. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do though, if you'll allow me, I'm going to take a two, three minute break to make me, make myself some coffee and, um, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'll see you in, uh, in three minutes, four, maybe the only time I got a raccoon was the time I didn't use it. Ah, wow, a hundred septims. Isn't that lucky? <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back. Just give me a minute. 